Hey everybody, uh, the video uh, in this uh, screencast is going to show you how to do a fairly popular layout these days and that is to have a one page website with smooth scrolling to each section on that page and uh, it involves doing a couple of things uh, one of which I have already done and that is to uh, use the uh, information on my other tutorial on the sticky header and or menu and I've already installed that I'll just show you right here uh, quickly dynamic custom you can see in the functions I have the code pasted here or the uh, stick header class is to combine the header and the nav into one class so that you can use this plugin uh, sticky menu and or, or or anything on scroll and if you uh, go down to the uh, settings for that you can see I uh, put the class or the element in is a dot or period stick header it's a class so you need the period and I've also set the Z index to five nines, whatever that is. The number is nine 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 nine. Anyways, what that'll do is uh, make sure that uh, your drop-down menu uh, will stay on top. So, anyways, that's all done. Uh, you can't see that, of course, here on the front of the site uh, because we don't have any content uh, that's tall enough but it is there and it will show you in a second that it works. So I've got uh, three pages here, the home, about, and contact, and we're going to get it so that it's everything's on the home page and uh, these other two items, about and contact, will uh, smoothly scroll uh, to those sections. If you just use the anchors, like the, uh, the pound uh, symbol or character uh, to go to an anchor uh, you may or may not know that it'll just jump there it won't smoothly scroll with that effect that we see uh, often these days so with that in mind uh, we need to install another plugin so go to plugins install new and uh, the I just look for it, scroll to ID. And this is the one we want, page scroll to ID by Malibu. And click install now. And activate it. Now let's go and we'll do the settings right now. But I'll tell you about them as I'm doing them. The only thing we really need to do here settings is to add a value to the offset now the offset here is to account for the height of the he your header and your nav bar so I've already determined that for this site 200 pixels is an adequate offset uh, you'll have to address this uh, depending upon the height of your own nav bar or uh, and or uh, header depending on how you want to do it but everything else uh, you leave as is including the four single highlights because we're going to uh, fix that with some CSS so we'll save the changes and while we're doing things in the back like that let's go and we'll add the CSS already so let's just go over to dynamic custom and I'm going to copy it over here, paste it into here. Now what this is going to do, it's going to allow to highlight the active section. And I've commented out uh, the text color. So depending on your theme and how you've set up your navigation menu, you may or may not want to change the text color for the active uh, menu item 
Uh, for right now, I've just changed the background color to green. And of course, you can change these values with the hex values, color values, or whatever your uh, own navigation bar is set to. So let's just save that. Now going over to the front of the site, you won't see any changes at all because we don't have long enough content to make that happen. So uh, I'll just uh, point out one other thing while I'm here. The uh, only other plugin I have uh, between those two is the Beaver Builder Pro uh, version 1.7 as of this uh, screencast is the uh, latest. And uh, you can do the same thing here with the light version or the free version as well, except that you would have to build your sections uh, manually uh, uh, with that version of the plugin. Uh, the reason I'm using this one is because I'm going to use the built in or supplied uh, page content uh, templates. Uh, that come with the, the commercial versions just to uh, save a lot of time uh, because that's really not what we're showing here is how to do that it's showing how to get the one page with a smooth scroll so that being said let's go over two pages we're going to set up our one page front page so let's go right into B builder or page builder and uh, there's what we have now, and as you can see, it's already uh, converted that to uh, a role with a text element. But we don't want that. Uh, what we want is just the blank page. So I'm going to go up here to Templates, and uh, not your templates. I'm going to choose one of the, their home page templates. And uh, let's use the one I always like using is the Appify. And there it is. We'll click Done, Publish Changes. And then we're going to go and just have a look, see uh, what that looks like. And there you have it. So there's our home page so far, but we're going to use their uh, content templates for About and for uh, Contact uh, template. And we're going to add them or append them to the end of each other on this one page so that when we click on the menu items uh, they'll smoothly scroll uh, to there. You'll see now we have that in there but of course it's not set up. Okay so let's go and get going on that. And we need to go to the back. All right. So let's get the other pages in there. Back into the page builder. Now we're going to add another template. And it'll be a content template. Uh, the next one we want is the about us. About, about. And we don't want to replace it. We want to append the new layout. And let's see. Sure enough, there it is. Looks good. So let's go add the contact. Content pages, business contact. And again, we'll add it to the end, append it. So there's our one page website. There's the about us and the contact. Okay. I'm just going to publish the changes here so it saves them. Now, one thing I'm going to do here is to get rid of this home because we don't really want that sitting there. So if we go to pages and we hover over the home item, if we look down in the lower left, we'll see that the ID for this is 74. So I'm going to come over to Genesis, dynamic settings, general settings, and type in 74 to get rid of that title on just that page. The other ones uh, don't matter. So let's go have a look and see what that looks like. Oops. Uh, refresh. 
And there you see it, it's gone. Just what we want. So this is a front end, there's our one page website. Now, that was the easy part, or the straightforward part. Let's go and see how to get those items working with a smooth scroll. So one thing we need to go and get right away, and this is, uh, it took me a while to get onto this, but here's what we need is this uh, uh, relative attribute. So let's go ahead and copy this and then come back over here to our menus. Uh, while we're in our main menu setup, you can call it whatever you like, this is what I always call them. Uh, and these are the three page menus that were already there. But we're going to not use these. And this is what got me is I thought you needed these, but you don't. So, what we need to do right away is go up to Screen Options, or the first thing, and make sure the Link Relationship checkbox is ticked. That's so this will display uh, when you expand that type of item, uh, menu type. So, here's a, our custom link. And uh, it's going to be localhost wordpress 3 and now here we're going to put in the anchor and we're going to call this one home be advised that your this value here home is case sensitive not for the link text but it is when you go and add that anchor or that ID so we add that to the menu. Now we got this home item. Expand it. And here's where we paste in that uh, link relationship. Okay. So let's go ahead and save that. And I'm just going to cheat here. I'm going to copy this one. And I'm going to add uh, another two items. This one's going to be called about, and we'll give it a label about. We're going to recreate them, and again, and this one is going to be contact. Where's contact? At menu. So now I'll copy this again because we'll need that in the other two menu items. And paste it in the third one. And we'll save it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get rid of the page menu items. Because they are no longer going to be used. And this was the hardest thing for me to figure out. Uh, is that they're all link menu item types, not page or posts or categories or anything like that. Uh, so now, uh, if we go here to the front, you'll see that nothing much really changes except nothing happens when we click on them. If you can see up in the address bar, uh, the anchors are there, but of course, we haven't set any anchors on the page, so that's what we're going to do now. Back to the page, one page site now, we'll just leave those there. The other two, we don't need them anymore. So, where we're going to put the anchor, or the ID that this the anchor is going to be at, is on the topmost item in that section or quote unquote page. So uh, with Beaver Builder, it's easy to do. Uh, you click on the row uh, settings and advanced and you come down to the bottom and the ID and here's where we put ID. It's home. Remember 
the cases have to match. If you're going to use the uppercase here, you have to use the uppercase uh, in the menu link. So we'll just save that. And we're going to scroll down to the about. And we're going to use this one. Here, the top one for about. And the ID is about. Save that. And now the contact. And the same thing. And contact. And save. And done. And publish changes. So now, let's go refresh. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. There we go. Let's go on to the boat. Oh, look at that. Nice and smooth back down to contact. And the rest of it's still there too. And if we click back home, it scrolls smoothly back up to home. Like I said, you may, depending on the height of your header and nav, need to adjust that value uh, for the offset. Uh, you'll find it maybe go like it'll come back to here uh, then you need to increase that value but actually that's it folks uh, that's all there is on how to get a one page uh, website with beaver builder dynamic website builder along with those two plugins page scroll to id and stick anything to anywhere there by mark Senf. okay thanks for watching